Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the first card about innovation and this is about starting something brand new over there and you know doing having a really good idea about something. Now Aquarius is always full of good ideas. I think it's one of uh, the most brilliant um, signs in the zodiac really. So your ideas are generally groundbreaking and uh, life-changing ideas. So there's something that you are thinking of doing that is really uh, going to change things around. They're going to bring in um, a big change um, because Aquarius is ruled by Uranus and these are sudden inspirations of geniuses, genius that comes in really uh, with this card of innovation. Um, so you've got the fragility card. So it seems like there's been a, a towel moment for you there. Something has happened that has uh, broken down a lot of your foundations. You may have lost your job or you may have done something that didn't quite work out how you wanted it to. So there's been some kind of big disaster that you have been facing recently over there. Maybe there's been some kind of big idea or some kind of message that came in that caused a lot of disruption uh, because you've got Mercury uh, on this card over here. And, uh, you know, it is sitting uh, in Virgo there. Uh, so it was some kind of big change of an idea or some kind of big information that came and disrupted a whole, uh, disrupted your life quite a bit, changed things around quite a bit. Now you've got a rivalry card going on here, so you've been facing a lot of stiff competition over here. Now you've got that innovation card over here, so maybe uh, you know you want to do something, but you are coming against a lot of people over there with that rivalry card. Uh, maybe you want to expand in what you're doing, so you're having to think outside of the box. But you're going to have some kind of brilliant idea in order for you to uh, you know sort through this rivalry. It's, it looks like you're going to you know maybe you're going to be able to deal with them hands down because you're going to be getting this really really good idea coming in on how to deal with that particular situation. Now, in the past, you've got the initiation, so it seems like you've started something uh, and you put a lot of energy into it. You may have been, you know, you could have gone off and started your own business or even started a new project. You've been using a lot of information from your, um, you know, a lot of your experience, rather, in order for you to uh, get this project going because you can see this woman's facing uh, the past over there and this huge crocodile is standing behind her so you know you've got a lot of experience under your belt and you've been employing that in whatever you've been doing and you've been shining quite a bit you've got the card of magnificence over here which is talking about uh, you know a lot of uh, um, growth coming in over there and whatever you're doing uh, you know people are admiring quite a bit over there uh, you may have also been meeting a lot of people there might have been a lot of collaboration going on as well with that magnificence card now going to the future here You've got the contrition card over here. So uh, this is about, um, you know, um, maybe going and asking for some kind of help, maybe even asking for some kind of assistance as well. It could be financial assistance. It could be even going and asking for a loan as well there. Uh, or you could just be, you know, asking somebody for some advice. Um, you know, whatever you're doing right now, you're feeling a bit tied up in it. So whatever that situation is, you can see this man's hands are bound there behind his back. Um, and um, he's going to go and ask for some kind of help. So, you know, um, maybe you're in a, in, a, in a position where you're in a, between a rock and a hard place right now, and there's somebody that you're going to, go in, going to go and have to ask for some kind of help. Now, the fact that you've got, you know, a lot of rivalry going on over here, you're facing a lot of competition there, it might be that you need to find somebody that supports you in this particular situation in order for you to get that edge. Uh, even here, it's about collaboration. So whatever you're doing is grow, will grow. Uh, this is the evolution card over here. So change will come. It will evolve. It will get better. It will improve. Uh, but it looks like you might need to ask for some kind of advice or some kind of support is needed from somebody higher up. Uh, you know, if you need extra financial help, you may need to go and ask for that because I think you're pretty much stuck, um, you know, in this particular situation and maybe somebody else has to just nudge you in the right direction or give you that help in order for you to move forward uh, so that whatever you're doing uh, can grow and get better. And here again, uh, you know, a lot of communication going on, a lot of uh, messaging going on. 
um, uh, you know, speaking to a lot of people on maybe a very international basis as well. Uh, you know, maybe you're expanding and want to go global, and so you are going to need some kind of support, maybe some kind of partnership as well, in order for you to move forward. So maybe whatever you started, you've taken as far as you can go, and now you need to actually get in some more input or get in support in order for you to move forward or for you to make this whatever this project is grow into something better because you are facing a lot of stiff competition and you need a little bit of an edge but you are going to come up with the with the uh, brilliant idea in order for you to solve this particular problem you are going to be able to think your way out of this particular situation so those are the energies for those two weeks <coughs> So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, oops, the Book of Shadows uh, tarot. Let's see what's going on. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. And this is about really working pretty hard to accumulate that money. Uh, so it looks like you're very, very hands-on. Uh, you know, you've made plans. You're following those plans to a T. And you're very, very, very focused on that work. And it is starting to produce a lot of abundance there. You might have people helping you out as well, uh, you know, trying to get yourself organized. But you, you seem to have everything under control at this particular moment but working very, very hard. Uh, and it's slow uh, work, and you might be working a lot of late hours as well. Uh, and it's bringing the money slowly, but uh, you know, you are, uh, you, you're you gonna just have to focus on that work and continue along that vein with that Knight of Pentacles. So you've got the Magician card over here and the Queen of Swords. So with the Magician, it's about manifesting. It's about working, uh, you know, multitasking, putting all your ideas into action, really. That's what you're doing. So whatever's on your mind, you're mani managing to uh, bring it out uh, into reality. Uh, you are very, very experienced as well with that magician card. Uh, you know, you have everything it takes to be able to sort uh, this problem or sort your work out. So you are very experienced. You might be very specialist in what you're doing. It's also a card about multitasking. So you might be doing lots of things or taking on a lot of responsibilities. And since it's a card ruled by Mercury, it's about communicating with a lot of people. Now, you've got the Queen of Swords over here, um, you know, and uh, you are uh, in a position where you are in control of a lot of uh, things. Uh, you know, you are almost the boss over there. You are working according to plans over there. You can see this woman's interviewing the other woman. So maybe you're even looking uh, for people to come and work with you. You might be even interviewing people to come and work for, with you. Uh, you're very selective about what you're doing. Um, and, uh, you know, you're very, very, um, this is your card, really. Um, so you're very sharp-minded as well. And, uh, um, you know, you make sure that uh, your, your speech is very straight. In other words, you, you say what you mean uh, and you don't uh, mess about. <laughs> so uh, somebody that is, you know, quite, um, you know, you, you've got an idea in your head, you're going for it, uh, and you want people to be on, on the same page as you. So uh, very, very, um, uh, very, very straight in how you communicate uh, uh, with, your, with the people that you work with as well. Uh, because you want to get things done with that magician card. So you're trying to get things done, you are collaborating, or you are, um, you know, telling people, um, giving instruction to people, so you are, you look, it looks like you're in a position of authority as well. Now, the Queen of Swords also could be dealing with, you know, legal issues. I will say the Swords cards are about dealing with any kind of legal issues, signing new contracts as well uh, uh, could be on the cards over there. So, uh, you know, you might be working towards uh, starting some brand new business or even signing a new contract, uh, and that might be uh, what you're waiting to do at this particular moment. So in the past, you've got the Temperance card over here, and this is about finding that balance. Uh, there could have been, you know, with this card, you can see there's, uh, 
having a lot of meals there and this could be about uh, you know a lot of business dinners that you went to meeting a lot of people this is about getting on top of uh, what you're doing find that finding that balance getting control back of that situation so you're taking charge and making sure that everything is balanced um, with uh, whatever you're doing uh, so um, this could also have been about meeting and collaborating, getting advice from a lot of people, giving advice to a lot of people as well with that temperance card. So, you know, you're trying to find that middle of the road path that, sh that gets you uh, to where you're going. Now, you've got the Nine of Wands over here, and this is generally about, uh, you know, taking on too much uh, of responsibilities, being really, uh, you know, overburdened as well with that Nine of Wands. Uh, all these problems you're having to defend yourself in, sort through these problems, um, you know, and um, this is a very stressful situation to be in. I mean, the Ten of Wands is usually about being overwhelmed, but the Nine of Wands is maybe biting off more than you can chew and maybe, you know, taking on too much uh, and um, maybe not even having a choice about how much you take on. And there's been a lot of responsibilities and burdens that you've taken on. There might have been a lot of uh, financial, um, you know, problems as well that you could have had because you've got a big pentacle over there talking about maybe there's a lot of financial burdens that you're taking on as well and you're trying to sort through that and it is causing a lot of worry you can see this woman's really reflecting on whatever's going on over there so it is keeping you up at night as well so you are uh, in a position where you are trying to sort through a lot of problems they are keeping you up about at night but maybe it is uh, you know uh, necessary for you to actually try and delegate a lot of that responsibility. Maybe this is the reason why you're going to be interviewing people uh, to come in, maybe interviewing an assistant to come and give you a, ha a hand in whatever you're doing. Because with that magician, uh, you know, being very, very busy but needing somebody there to come and give you a hand uh, and help you out. Because it looks like there was a lot of responsibilities and burdens that you have undertaken. Now you've got the two of pentacles over here. So there's some kind of choice uh, that you are facing at this particular moment. You are working pretty hard. This is a card of multitasking and following things to the T, being very, very organized, uh, but also doing too many things at one time. So you've got that nine of wands being overburdened and the two of pentacles about doing too many projects at, at the same time as well. So having to prioritize uh, what you want to do next and making sure that you can focus on what you're doing next. Because, you know, when you are all over the place, you can't give one particular thing your best attention. Maybe this is why you do need that help to come in. Now, this could also be a choice in uh, whatever project you want to do. Uh, this is a choice of maybe having uh, to, uh, to select a new job or maybe uh, deciding which project uh, should get your full attention as well. You're also worrying about money and trying to sort out finances and trying to make sure that your, um, you know, whatever's going out uh, is um, not more than what is coming in. So you are juggling finances as well and working pretty hard with the Two of Pentacles. It is working pretty hard on that project, uh, but trying to make sure that everything is sorted, you know, and. Um, with that two of uh, pentacles, if you're not watching one thing, uh, you know, you're juggling the two pentacles, if you're not watching one thing, it could fall apart or fall down. So trying to make, uh, get yourself in balance so that you are giving equal amount of attention to both projects. That seems to be on your mind. So there's two things uh, that you're thinking about and it's to do with work or finances at, at this particular time. You've got the four of cups over here and this is usually an offer coming in. But you can see this woman's asleep from working so hard and having so many responsibilities she has gotten so tired that when this offer comes in for her uh, you know she doesn't even see it so uh, you, maybe you're even thinking of going and you know doing a new job or maybe uh, applying for a new job um, and if that offer comes in because you're so focused or, or taking so much of responsibilities in your current job you might miss that opportunity completely so it is important for you because you've got three cups and the three different cups over here so there might be uh, three things that you're working on at this particular moment and this is the thing that is tying you uh, tiring you out um, so when the new cup comes in or the new offer comes in it could even be an offer for study you're far too exhausted 
to actually accept it. And this is usually a good offer that comes in, uh, but if you are so focused on um, you know, sorting through um, all these responsibilities, because you're juggling quite a bit. And if you look at it, you've got that nine of swords over there being very focused to having too many responsibilities. The magician is also about juggling a lot of things at the same time, multitasking, juggling. And then you've got that two of pentacles about juggling a lot of things. And you seem to be run off your feet because the temperance is also about trying to juggle and trying to find that balance. So, you know, this has exhausted you completely and it seems like if a new offer comes in, you might not even be aware of it or not even see it because you're far too tired uh, to actually see it. So uh, there is a need for you to delegate. There is a need for you to ask somebody else to step in or try and give your responsibilities to somebody else or get yourself an assistant really uh, in order for you to not miss opportunities coming your way. Now you've got the Knight of Cups over here and this is an opportunity that usually is presented to you. Now this could be an opportunity for learning. You've got these books over there, uh, opportunity for studying or an opportunity to uh, maybe even teach, uh, but it's to do with knowledge or information. And um, you can see uh, he's, this is usually, the Knight of Cups is usually the offer that comes in. So there's two cards of an offer coming in. So these are two aces that are coming in. The Knight of Cups usually carries the ace uh, of cups. Uh, and you've got this Four of Cups where there's the Ace of Cups. So there's a new opportunity for learning, for study, for teaching, uh, or, you know, to deal, uh, or even a new job opportunity coming in for you. Both these cards, uh, you know, he seems to be looking away and may not, he's not even seeing the books. So you might end up missing this opportunity if you are not aware that it's going to be presented to you. You've got the hangman. It seems like you are waiting for things to happen. Things to seem to be a bit of a standstill. It seems a bit stuck right now. Uh, and maybe they're not, um, you know, going your way quite... They're not moving fast enough for you. So you are at a, a point where you are pretty much uh, stuck in that particular position. Now, in your hopes and fears, you really are worried about loss and lack. Uh, being also worried about being isolated and left alone on your own devices. Uh, so having no support uh, is something that you are pretty much worried about, and that's in your hopes and fears. You are worried uh, about uh, not having enough money as well. So going into the future, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Six of Wands. So, you know, if you've been worried about finances, this is the card to tell you don't worry. It looks like, you know, you've got the support that you are, you're going to get the support that you need. It's also about, you know, this could be a promotion that comes in for you over here with that Queen of Pentacles, uh, working for somebody else. So this could be a position uh, higher than what you're working at, but you will be working under somebody. Uh, and you have a lot of control, a lot of freedom to do a lot of things, and it will generate a lot of finances as well. Now, there could be somebody that you who takes you on their, under their wing almost and teaches you, so this could be a learning experience for you as well with that Queen of Pentacles. But uh, something that generates a lot of abundance where you learn on the job. So it's not quite the King of Pentacles, so this looks like you might be uh, you know, working for somebody, almost like an apprentice to somebody, uh, and, but it generates a lot of finances. There might be a lot of travel as well that's involved. Uh, you've got the uh, Ten of Swords over here, so this is about the ending of difficulties and, uh, you know, this card could also be, um, you know, breaking contracts and moving on to something new. So an end of a contract, legal contract, and moving on to something new. So whatever, you know, uh, you've been dealing with might have been very, very dramatic or problematic. But it looks like, you know, whatever problem you have, you've got her holding the phoenix in her hand. Uh, so that's rising from the ashes. So if you are, have been going through problems or issues, those are now coming to an end. And you will survive uh, whatever you've gone through. So, you know, if, if you're in a position where you are very stressed out, it looks like that is coming to an end. If you've been dealing with any kind of legal issues, that seems to also have come to an end or will be coming to an end. And you will, uh, you know, emerge from it quite victorious. Uh, and maybe, uh, you know, maybe you're going to get a new job or a new promotion uh, moving on, really, uh, where, uh, you know, you, a phoenix rising from the ashes uh, and a, a position where, uh, you know, your opinion matters or whatever you say matters quite a bit um, and it's uh, going to pay you off, pay you quite well that particular job. It's definitely going to help you climb that, um, that mountain 
uh, uh, that Korea mountain itself. So although it's been such a hard struggle, you're nearly there. You know, you can see even in that Queen of Pentacles, you're nearly there at the top. Uh, it's just a little longer and just a little more um, grind, really, uh, in order for you to get to the top. So this is the Six of Wands. There will be success, uh, but you just got to keep going. Uh, you know, just hang in there and keep going. You're just nearly there. So there might be somebody there that's going to be helping you get that step up to the final destination uh, where you become that King of Pentacles or you reach the top of that mountain. Uh, and all that difficulties are now over all the problems that you've been going through. So you are working very, very hard, but don't miss this opportunity that comes. It's come in the form of two cards, the Knight of Cups and the Four of Cups. So two uh, cards representing an opportunity that will be presented to you. And it is very important not to miss it. So you got this Strength card over here, and this is the grace and inner strength to overcome challenges the power of kindness and forgiveness, time to embrace how wonderful you are. So you have got it in you to be able to conquer this uh, particular scenario. Uh, it's about having resilience and just going a little longer. Uh, so don't give up and try not to be negative. Uh, it's just a little longer uh, before you, uh, you know, achieve your goals. You've got that seven of spring over there. So this is about defending yourself in a situation. Be assertive, it says. Don't back down from what you believe and courageously stand up for yourself. So if anybody's questioning whatever you want, are doing, you need to, you know, show them that you know exactly what you're talking about and uh, stand up for yourself. Then you've got that seven of summer over here. So no procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision, confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. So don't spend too much of time going on, uh, you know, looking at the, the negatives of it. Um, make a decision. You've got a lot of options available for you. Do your research. This is a card, the seven of cups of the seven of summer. Do your research. Make sure you look at all the nitty gritties of whatever you, you're trying to do. If you're trying to start a new project, uh, make sure that you know you have you've left no stone unturned. That is very very important. And make a decision and go for it. So pick one thing, focus on it, and go for it. And once you do that, uh, it looks like you know there's success that will come your way. So you're almost there. Just a little while, a little more to uh, to go. You're coming to the end of any difficult problems. There could be that promotion coming in for you where you're going into a position where you're. Uh, you know, almost being supervised by somebody, but also learning a lot on that job. And it comes in in the form of a new offer. And this could also be an offer for study or an offer for learning here. So that coming into play as well. So all the things seem to be a bit stuck. They will start moving pretty soon. Uh, and you have what it takes, uh, you know, with that magician magician card here. You have what it takes. Uh, you are pretty trained up. Uh, ha you have a lot of experience. And uh, this is about being really, really busy as well. So you will be very, very busy soon. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.